Hello everyone, this time I will be discussing problems involving probability of the three types of events. Simple events, mutually exclusive events, and non-mutually exclusive events. Now let us differentiate the three types of events in terms of definition. First, we have a simple event, an event that involves a single element of the sample space. Next is mutually exclusive events, two events that have no common outcomes. And last but not the least, non-mutually exclusive events, two events that share common outcomes. This time, let us differentiate the three events in terms of examples. First, simple event. This is the example. What is the probability that a number selected at random from the first 20 positive integers is exactly divisible by 5? So this is simple event because there is one outcome. Only the number is divisible by 5. Next, mutually exclusive events. What is the probability that a number selected at random from the first 20 positive integers is divisible by 5 or 7? So here it involves union of two events, of two outcomes, numbers divisible by 5 or divisible by 7. It is mutually exclusive because we cannot think of a number which is both divisible by 5 or 7 from numbers 1 to 20. If you will list all the numbers divisible by 5 from the first 20 positive integers, there will be no numbers which are divisible by 5 and at the same time by 7 from numbers 1 to 20. That's why this is mutually exclusive. No common outcomes. And the last one, non-mutually exclusive events. So this is the example. What is the probability that a number selected at random from the first 20 positive integers is divisible by 5 or 2? So if you will list all the numbers from 1 to 20, then there will be common outcomes. There will be numbers which are divisible by both 5 or 2, like 10. 10 is divisible by 5 and also divisible by 2. And 20 also, 20 is divisible by both 5 and 2. That's why this is non-mutually exclusive events. There are outcomes which are common. This time, let's have more examples of probability problems and let us solve each one of them. Example number one, a card is drawn from a 52 deck of cards. What is the probability that it is black win? First, let us identify the type of probability. So here, this is simple event since we are looking for one outcome, probability of black win. Let us have the diagram and find out how many coins do we have, how many black wins. So looking at the diagram, there are only two. These are the two. So two over 52 since there are 52 cards in all. And then reduce, reduce it to lowest term, divide by two. So two divided by two is one. 52 divided by 2 is 26. So therefore, the probability is 1 over 26. The probability of getting a black win is 1 over 26. Example number 2, one marble is drawn from a bag containing 4 white, 3 red, and 5 blue marbles. Find the probability that it is either white or blue. This type of problem is probability of mutually exclusive events because we cannot have a ball which is both white and red or we cannot have a ball which color is both red and blue. So this is mutually exclusive events. There is no common outcome. 
To solve this, let us first determine our denominator or the sample space. So simply add 4 plus 3, 7 plus 5 is 12. So our denominator is 12. Now, probability that it is either white or blue, we need the number of white marbles. And there are 4 white, so write 4 plus blue. There are 5 blue marbles, simply write 5. And then add the numerators, 4 plus 5 is 9, simply copy 12. And then reduce the lowest term, divide both numerator and denominator by 3. So 9 divided by 3 is 3, 12 divided by 3 is 4. 3 fourths is the probability that the marble is either white or blue. 3 fourths is the final answer. Example number three, two dice are rolled. What is the probability that the sum is four, nine, or ten? This problem is probability of mutually exclusive events again. Because we cannot have uh, combinations or numbers that when we get the sum, we'll get sum of both four, nine, or ten. So this is mutually exclusive events. First, let us list down. Let's say sum of 4, sum of 9, and sum of 10. Sum of 10. For sum of 4, so take note, there are two dice. So our denominator here is 36. Our sample space is 36. Sum of 4, let's start with 1. So 1 plus 3, 3 plus 1. Then 2 plus 2, can you still think of possible sums of 4? So I think no more. So here we have 3 over 36. Then plus sum of 9. Can you think now of sum of 9 with 1, no, 2, partner of 2 to make it 9, none. So let's start with 3. 3 plus 6 is 9. 6 plus 3, and then 4 plus 5 is 9. The other one is 5 plus 4. I think that's enough. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 outcomes. So 4 over 36. Plus for sum of 10, we have 4 plus 6, 6 plus 4. What else? So 5 plus 5. I think no more. So we have 1, 2, 3 outcomes. 3 over 36. And then let's add all this. 3 plus 4, 7 plus 3, 10, copy 36. Reduce the lowest term, divide by 2. So 10 divided by 2 is 5. 36 divided by 2 is 18. 5 over 18 is the probability that the sum is 4, 9, or 10. Next, example number four, a bag contains four blue, five red, and six green balls. A ball is taken at random. What is the probability that it is not red? So we have the following balls. Now, this type of problem is simple event because we are asked to simply find the probability that it is not red. Single event. So simple event. Let's add or determine how many balls in all. We have 4 plus 5, 9 plus 6, 15 balls in all. And that will be our denominator. Then what is the probability that the ball taken at random is not red? So simply count all the balls which are not red. So those balls are blue and green. So there are four blues and six greens. Simply add 4 plus 6 is 10. And then reduce it to lowest term, divide by 5. 10 divided by 5 is 2. And 15 divided by 5 is 3. Two-thirds is the probability that the ball taken at random is not red. And now let's have number five example. From a standard deck of 52 cards, a card is taken at random. 
what is the probability that it is a king or a diamond? Let us have the diagram again. First, let us identify the type of probability. Since we are looking for the probability that it is a king or a diamond, this is mutually not exclusive events or non-mutually non-mutually exclusive events because if we're going to identify here in the diagram a uh, king so we have all this as our king and then diamonds all this are diamonds so looking at this there is intersection so there is common outcome meaning to say there is common number and this number or card, there is common card, this card is both king and diamond. That's why this example is an example of non-mutually exclusive events. So solving this will give us for the number of king, 1, 2, 3, 4, so there are 4 and over 52 because there are 52 cards. Plus number of diamonds, we have 13 diamonds. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 over 52. And since this is non-mutually exclusive, we have to subtract the fraction of the common card. And there is 1. So which means to say minus 1 over 52. Now, let's solve this. 4 plus 13, 17 minus 1 over 52. 17 minus 1 is 16 over 52. Let's reduce the lowest term. Divide by 4. 16 divided by 4 is 4. 52 divided by 4 is 13. So, 4 over 13 is the probability that the number card taken at random is a king or a diamond. That's all for now about solving probability of simple events, mutually exclusive events, and non-mutually exclusive events. In my next video, I will be explaining how to solve problems involving dependent and independent events. Thank you and have a nice day.